My keynote today was really about the use of data in public health, particularly global public health, and how important it is to have really good evidence to base your decisions on in terms of what to invest in in public health, and also to collect really good data, quality, high quality data, to, to track where you're going and, where, and how much impact you're having. We are very often asked by Mike Bloomberg himself as we initiate new programs, how will this make a difference in someone's life? How will this actually save lives? Which is a very big metric for us. Tobacco control is really our flagship. So tobacco is the leading cause of death, the leading agent of death in the world. Um, it will cause one billion deaths in this century if we don't do anything about it. It is a, uh, a major killer and an extremely important killer in low and middle income countries where we focus all of our work. Obesity prevention is new for us. We've just started working in obesity with a pilot program in Mexico. We think obesity is going to be the next tobacco. And the problems that we are, are up, against, uh, up against in obesity are very similar to the problems that we face in tobacco. So how do we use data in these programs in public health at the philanthropies? Certainly we use it for priority setting. So I've already talked about the largest or leading causes of death. We also focus on places where we can have the most impact. We also use data every day to measure progress. So Bloomberg Philanthropies Global Health Program is really mainly a policy shop. We don't really do care delivery. So we're not really funding clinics. We're funding work to change policy that will have large population-wide impact. Lots of polling is done and supported by Bloomberg Philanthropies and Public Health. This is to try to understand where the public is. Um, we saw in Mexico, for example, where we're doing obesity prevention, that the public awareness of the, the harms of sugar-sweetened beverages before we started our work was around 40 percent and rose to about 85 percent as we started to roll out mass media campaigns and a lot of public awareness. I just want to talk about a brand new program that we've just launched at Bloomberg Philanthropies. It's called the Bloomberg Data for Health Initiative, and we've launched it in partnership with the Australian government because they have had a special interest in this issue as well. In the world, 65 percent of deaths are unrecorded. Now that's not the cause of death, that's just the death, period, is unrecorded. Um, and millions and millions have no cause of death. About a third of births are unrecorded. So we have a really big problem here. So we've, put out, we've developed a program to partner with 20 low and middle income countries and cities around the world. Um, we have a number of international organizations working with us to do this work. They're, they're experts in recording causes of death. And we have three components, uh, to strengthen birth and death registration sim systems, to improve uh, the traditional health surveys, particularly on non-communicable diseases. And then the third one that everyone kind of puts in a basket somewhere and does absolutely nothing with is using that data to make decisions. I'm really looking forward to some of the outcomes of the day and some of the uh, pieces of information that are, that are shared by others. We are always looking for new ideas in public health and the public health programs really can benefit from a lot of the ideas that are being shared here today.